Okay, so, as we all know, Juventus, or as is known in Football Manager Zebra, or Zebra, I don't know what the fuck, pretty much went on a nine in a row streak of winning the Serie A. Now, it's been about, what, I think that's about 16 years now since the Chopoli scandal. Definitely didn't pronounce it right. But where they were pretty much match fixing, they were relegated to Serie B, which they did end up getting promoted first out of asking and back straight up to challenging. Previous two seasons, they have not won the league. Obviously, in real life, the 21 22 season went to AC Milan and not enter back to back. But it still makes the same sense. So, with Juventus' cheating corruption in the past, why not take it one step further and bankrupt them? Why not? Why does it do that? I definitely done this correctly the other night. And done it all correctly, but it's clearly says otherwise. So we've had this all heating for it won't have an effect. It shouldn't have an effect, but do all that. Make of a billion, both balance and budget. And absolutely everything. An underwriter. And let's see. It, one of, I think, maybe one of Italy's most successful clubs, I would, I would expect, with 36 other league titles and all this. I would expect so. But we never know. I never know. Back to the days of where they were relegated, let's see how far down the Italian pyramid they drop. If they do drop down because it could easily be, or oh, two seasons maybe like fighting relegation and then they straight back up there. Because you know the way football manager works of where, oh you're in debt, here's a big loan just to take out and just save yourself. Have at it. So we'll jump forward five seasons, well season by season up for five. And see what Juventus or Zebra get up there. Okay, first season then. Not made a difference. They're still where they are. So these European elites is fine. Oh Jesus, you've got fucking basically nothing in the budget. Like you've got now. You sell MD? Not really. Not really sold. Not really spent. Oh, you done a massive clear out that season though. Oh Jesus, that I. That is a massive clear out leak. Massive clear out. How did they get on there in the cups? So Champions League group, they topped it quite comfortably. They won the Super Cup. They are progressing in the Italian Cup. I think this is a Scudetto. No, this is, that's the leak, I'm a fud. Got put by Liverpool in the Champions League semis. And then they won the Italian Cup. So at least they've done the double this year. So we are wise, 11 points behind Inter. They've done a tactic now. So realistically, they ain't doing bad themselves. What's a score looking like? You know what tactic it is. Kyle George is now probably going to be a main starter for them. You Are you joining or leave? You're joining. Ramsey's wanted to go. Okay, so well, the, the team does... Oh, you got fucking Kelly in a left back. What the fuck's that about? That's a weird one. You've got the bar that's injured, the acquire that's injured, you're joining Tottenham. I wouldn't have thought of that deal in real life, but, well. So they've not lost like a, a lot of their players, but the big hitters, Dusan, Alexandro, Bonucci, the lit for 29 mil, what? How for that cheap? Well, he's only 23. It was only 22 when he signed, fucking hell! For that level of money, Jesus! It's a bargain! Where the fuck you are? That one was already pretty much pure rage in real life. Okay. 
Big event players have left. We we'll jump forward to the second season and see what Juventus are up to then. Right, Juventus, they've won the league. Right, so it's clear that they're probably fine now, Phil, if they've just won the league. General is shows rich. Yeah, I think they're pretty much back to it. Sales and the season again. Nobody really, a couple of weird sales, so whoever you are. So I cry was moved on, but nah. Pretty much nobody's really been f moved on since then. Champions League then. Knocked in the Town Cup quarters. Where's the Super Cup then? Oh, they won the Super Cup again against Inter. <laughs> Semi-finals of the Champions League, this thing they lost out on. And Liverpool done it again. So they've won it two years in a row, Liverpool. Jesus. Right, well, Juventus, I think they're pretty much back to it now. They're looking like they're starting to get stronger again without really any sh signs. Shines? Aye. Shines have slowing down. We'll, we'll jump forward to the next couple of seasons still and see where they're kind of at. But if it keeps going, we'll probably call it early because there's no real point within five seasons and seeing this level of dominance, I don't think. But jump forward anyway and see. That's only two seasons gone. And it looks like they're back to normal then. Bit disappointing, no what? See that level of quick turnaround? We'll just do this. <laughs> right, we'll just do that. Fuck it, next season then. Right, let's go and have a look at Juventus then. 10th. Okay. Big switch up there. A lot of sales probably caused it. What's the score looking like? Who is... Oh, no wonder. Right. That's basically a whole new squad. There's not even a thing about that. Right. Like on the Champions League then. Just. I would say just 8 points. Lost the Super Cup then at this time. Knocked out in the last 16. Semi finals of the Italian Cup. Definitely not looking good this season. You know, the back in the last season. Chesney. Benadeshi, Locatelli, they've definitely lost a lot of the players for not a lot more than what the oh yeah, that was a double loan. Forget that having a real life. Right, Juventus will need a lot to do in the last two seasons then. As is there any of their squad in real life stayed there? Arthur? That's Chiesa, Perrin, you've not got a lot, they balance stayed there, Cadrado, not an absolute boatload. Sergio Busquets is retiring, why would you have even went to them in the first place, but alright. Right, we'll jump forward to the next season and see where Juventus end up. But definitely just told you that, yeah, it's been quite a lot of a clear out. Wait, let's check out Juventus then. Now go up. Fifth place, fifth place now. Valverde's now. <gasps> oh, excuse me, the manager. Oh, my legs are cramping. Oh no, Valverde was already the man. Would that have been, yeah, so I would have thought been the manager by the time I was just, I'm being stupid. Money. I'm so humble. Big players have left. Not as much there. I'm still going back seasons. Not bad then. So you're replacing them. What's your score looking? Lobbies. I'm bad. Right. 
Vai. Not bad then, not bad. Players are definitely coming back, how was the fuzzies out here been a while? Second, third round and to start. So after going all those years and then three years without it, they won it. Tenth and then there's a financial situation. Still a lot to go. Right, I think jump forward to the last season. It's definitely took a toll on them. They've been bounced up and down, not bad. Tell me still there, which is surprising. Right, well, we'll jump forward to the last season then. How old is Foden? Older than me, thank God. Right, well, we'll jump forward to the last season then and see where they end up. Right, let's see if it is then, let's see, eighth place now. Is that the same manager as before? No, because Valverde got sacked at the, in the new year. This case I took over a French guy from Marseille, I'm guessing. No, he was originally the Troy's man, maybe? Stop, I don't even know. Who do you say? Big money's was spent. Not really any sold. Your finances then? Looking good. They've pretty much recovered financially, but. Overall, so, second, won it, tenth, fifth, eighth, was Europa League campaign about, just qualified, see that by six points, Italian Cup, you got far, decent levels, put in the semis, lost Europa League final to Arsenal, was on the Super Cup, I'm like, oh no, that's going to be far, if you win the league in that, Right, the damn deals got signed just before we ran away. Yeah, a few more, quite a few more. Oh, no, that's bollocks, that's bollocks. No, that's lies. I'm stupid. Right, so overall, that, meh, pretty much a success. Juventus have not won in three years, and they don't look to be getting back anytime soon. What's the squad looking like? You've got... See, would you technically count? Because I don't know if he's... You'd, yeah, you'd be there in real life, technically. You know, he like bounce about clubs on loan and everything. Yes, is still there. Is he going at all on the save? Nope. Sander Berg is now at Juventus, or... Zebre. Zebre. No, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, the ball is also still there. But he looks like he's gone now. He is probably going to be on his way out now. Been there since 2015. Gave them more than the decade service. So, with that, that's another one done. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. With that, I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.